Right, so I'm here with Terry from R&J Pipework. We're uh, introducing the 2018 R&J Pipework Masters. This is our third year of the event. Um, it's been a very, very successful uh, uh, fishing match. It's one of the only non-qualification matches where someone can walk away with a great big check. Um, first year, we, we had around the sort of 90 people turn up. This The second year, 120. We're hoping for more this year. Again, we've se secured Decoy Lakes, one of the best commercials in the country um, and I'm with Terry and uh, what are your thoughts on this year? Well I think Daniel um, I'm really pleased uh, to sponsor it again uh, with yourself I think it's going to be a great event um, as you said the last two years has been absolutely excellent um, I think you've uh, laid it out pretty well and hopefully that we will uh, 2018 will be even more successful and everyone will uh, enjoy the day. Well with your continued sponsorship Terry uh, someone some lucky person, uh, last year Jimmy Brooks, in the first year Graham Dack, walked away with a cheque of £5,000. There's obviously prizes for sections and, and third, fourth and fifth prizes and so on, um, depending on the numbers, depending on, on what, what that will be. Um, I think this year you've had a little, little bit of an added bonus for everyone who's entering the match. I had to think about it and I think this year, um, I know we uh, issued some tiles and uh, that was very good. But I just want to change it a bit this year um, and what we've done is, and we're going to issue uh, whoever turns up um, a bag with uh, uh, t-shirts. So, uh, oh, so everyone, everyone gets an R&J Pipework t-shirt um, to, to mark the day and mark the match. So uh, hopefully they won't forget for next year and we'll double the numbers and you'll see your, your logo out and about on, on the riverbank. I think, to be honest, that'll be absolutely excellent. So Daniel, you own a fish and tackle shop, uh, so just tell us um, what, what do they need to bring? Well Terry, the obvious answer to that is absolutely everything. Obviously working in the trade and obviously got my own shop, you definitely need to take an absolute shed load of pellets, loads of worms, loads of castles, that's what you got. Yeah, but obviously you've got to buy them from our shop. Um, in all seriousness, whatever you're confident with um, I think works you know there, there's so many fish in, in the lakes at decoy um, you can you can choose whatever your stronger suit is you know I know I know a lot of guys they're fishing lots of casters up in the water um, or pellets up in the water um, for, for their for their long lines and then obviously in the margins now um, decoy only allows um, ground bait through the feeder so that obviously means the method feeder or, 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 or your, your free running open ender. Um, so ground bait probably won't come into it so much um, if I, for me personally, because I think you know if you're going to win, you're going to catch in the margins. It tends to be on the pole. That tends to be with micro pellets, lots of sweet corn. Um, some people use cat meat or dog meat. Um, you're not allowed to use lunch meat there, so you've got to make sure you know, you're using just your, your cat meats and dog meats. Um, but if I was going to go and fish it myself, which I really wish I could fish, but obviously organising it. I'm not allowed. Um, I would probably take four or five kilos of micro pellets, um, use it a little bit like ground bait for your margin fishing. I'd take the various size of, of other pellets for up in the water fishing, uh, but on the close pole line for me it'll be dead maggots, plenty of casters and stuff like that. Um, I think going on the recent results there's been a lot of barbel caught and the pellets work, but I think if you're going to catch everything other than carp as well, a few maggots and casters won't go amiss. By the time we get to the match, you know, it might be a bit of worm fishing as well, so chop worm and caster can come into play. Uh, and if that does, then you need probably a kilo or, or more of worms to chop up with plenty of caster to back it up, and again, your pellets. Um, but for me, if you're going to win this match, like any of the big matches that are available now, you've got to fish to your strengths, hope you draw a decent peg, and, and yeah, you know, do it right. Well, that was pretty good, Daniel. Um... The venue is, is very good, um, you can get a good breakfast there, um, I think everyone uh, starts off very well. So um, from my point of view, um, what is next? Well the, 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 far, the final thing to say probably is um, obviously we want more and more people to get involved with this, we want support for this so you will you know, hopefully come and sponsor the match again for years to come, we need more and more people to come. So the way to book on to the match, as I've said before, get in contact with myself, I'm Dan Bryden, Wenson Valley Angling. Um, you can call me on the shop shop number on 01603 929090. My mobile is 077 568948. Or you can contact us via Facebook, social media. Um, we've got both my Wenson Valley site. We've also got my personal 
um, Facebook site as well as the R&J Pipework page which is getting more and more popular. Please like and follow it because there will be updates on the match on the day. Um, we'll do, be doing live videos uh, coming up to it as well as the draw, who's in with a chance and everything like that. Don't get, don't hesitate. Get on on board. We've got us, we've got all the venue booked. We're, we're up to quite a good number already, um, but I'd like to make this the biggest one yet. So give us a shout. So that's pretty much everything you need to know. I'm just going to hand back to Terry because you want to just have a little chat about you know why we came up with this, the reasoning behind you, 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 you and R and J Pipe were backing the match. You know, tell us what 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 your thoughts are. Well, I think Daniel, I think at the end of the day, as we discussed. Um, I wanted to sponsor a match. You were quite right how uh, how big it has grown. Um, the reason I like this is because on the day, um, there's no two ways about it, um, anybody can win it. And I think that is probably the best thing in the competition, that whoever turns up on the day and who fishes the best uh, can win the money. It's a testament to the venue and, the, and obviously the, the quality of anglers that we're, we're attracting to this match. Um, is getting higher and higher. Um, with today's climate, there's so many matches on the calendar. Um, we, you know, I, I think looking at you know the numbers that we're getting now, we're probably going to be one of the biggest matches of the year. Um, there might be one or two that, that are, that are going to going to pip us, unfortunately. But you know, from the from the sort of start out conversation we had three years ago to, to what we've got now, I think we're doing doing it pretty right. So uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll see you on the bank and. Uh, Terry, we'll have a little wander around on the day and uh, hopefully get a few, few, few shots of some anglers fishing and, and hopefully a few fish be caught. Hopefully everything goes well. Absolutely.